All right, hello everyone, Mr. Jengis is here and today I'm going to show you how to make an 8-ball game. Again, friends, I'm Mr. Jengis from Codespeed Labs and if you'd like to like this video or if you can subscribe, that'll mean the world to us and you can check out our website which is also in the description for our online classes. Uh, friends, today I'm going to do something very special. Today I'm going to show you how to do an 8-ball project on uh, Bitsbox. So Bitsbox is a really awesome place that you can go to and check out the link to this video to find the Bitsbox website. Basically you're gonna go to bitsbox.com slash code. Bitsbox.com slash code. Once you get there you click on get started and if you have an account click on kids sign in. If you don't have an account click on let's go. And friends if you just click on let's go you can immediately make some uh, stuff happen but if you click on kids sign in your work will be saved so you might want to sign in or create an account and you can find a video on how to do that in the description of this video all right I'm gonna click on let's go I'm not gonna sign in and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on a new app at the bottom there's a little plus sign here I'm gonna click on that then click on invent your own all right let's zoom 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 okay the first thing that we'll do is I'll say m equals stamp of magic eight ball and if you can see it right here so yes bitsbox is a really cool place like this in here I can type in my code this is JavaScript code can you all say JavaScript yes Maybe you've heard of this before. Uh, JavaScript is a very, very popular language at the moment, at least. And in here with JavaScript, we're gonna make apps for like an iPad or a tablet or a mobile phone. So first, I got my Magic Eight Ball, right? And in here, I'm gonna have a writing that says something like, I don't know. You ask the Magic Eight Ball a question, you shake it, and it tells you yes, no, or maybe, or I don't know. There are some funny answers too that Magic 8 Balls have. So first, let's do uh, that writing. I'm going to say T equals text. So friends, try to find these parentheses and apostrophes in your keyboard. And inside the text, let's write uh, click me. And there it is. There, we have a click me right here. But it's not centered, so let's center it. It's right there. And also, let's make it white. Uh oh, I have a bug. Yes, I missed an apostrophe. So, friends, you gotta have all of these things. You gotta have that equal sign in there, the parentheses, the apostrophe right here. Don't forget about the commas between each of these things. And you can choose your own color. If you'd like to make this, for example, gold, you can do that. Or you can make it purple. Yeah. And if you change this to right, for example, right, it'll be right aligned. Or left aligned is this one. So I'm going to keep it centered and make this white. Mm, one more thing guys, I think you'd like to know this at least. The number that you put here before center with no quotes around it is going to be the size of that writing. So I'm going to make this one 60. Let's see. Nice. Okay. Next up, I'm going to put some answers. So just like we do shopping lists in JavaScript or in any programming language really, you can make lists or otherwise known as arrays. So let's do a list of possible answers. You know, when you shake an eight ball, sometimes it says yes, sometimes it says no, and sometimes it says maybe, and sometimes it says I don't know, for example. Let, let's put those potential answers into a list. So I'm gonna say answers equal, and there's this corner bracket right here. This one requires no shift, find it in your keyboard. And let's put some answers in here. First will be yes. Come on. 
Second will be no. Comma. And then I'm going to add a third answer, maybe. I might add more potential answers to this list later on. Then I'm going to click on line number four and continue my code right here. Let's do function tap. Yes. Yes, function tap and then the parentheses. And then friends, write this curly bracket and then press enter, enter, enter to go to a new line. Enter backspace, backspace. And the most important thing is this curly bracket on line six. Make sure you have that right now. Yes, make sure you have this curly bracket on line six before you do anything else. Guys, you gotta have all of this code right here. And if you do, when you click on run, you will have no bugs. So you can pause the, video, pause the video right now and compare my code to your code. If you have bugs, what's the difference between your code and my code? Because mine works. And if yours doesn't, that means something is different. So there are some potential mistakes, like if you don't have that curly bracket on line six, this happens. Oops, bug. You have an error. And near line four, you have an unexpected end of input. Mm. Yes, so on line four, I started the curly bracket, but I didn't end it. So I'm going to press enter, enter, and close that curly bracket with a closing bracket. Another thing that you might have a bug about is, yes, the commas. If you miss one single comma, it'll say near line two, expected parentheses, instead saw 60. But the computer has no idea what's going on. So make sure that you have your commas all in there, you have your... Uh, brackets in there and also make sure that these are not these brackets but these brackets for the list all right so let's put our code in here all right when I tap on the screen I want M to dance I want T the text to dance and I want T to change to one of the random items in the answers list Yes, so a random command picks random stuff, random items from a list of answers. And the list of answers is in line three. It has three items, yes, no, or maybe. So when I tap, these, the, the magic eight ball and the text will dance, kind of like a shake. And then the T, the text, will change into any of these, uh, one of these um, items on that list. So let's try this out. No. 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 Oh, that's a lot of no's. No again. What? Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So um, I'm going to claim this right now. This magic eight ball that we've just programmed is a hundred percent accurate. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead and ask it a question. For example, uh, is my name Genghis? I'm going to click on it. Maybe. That's not wrong. That's not wrong. Okay. Um, do birds fly in the air? Let's ask that. Yes. You see, you got it right. Um, oh, is the sky up? Maybe. That's not wrong. That's not wrong. Okay. Um, how about this? Are tigers fast? Yes, got that right too. Um, how about this? Is my name Genghis? Maybe. Mm. Will it rain tomorrow? Yes. Oh wow. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Or, um, was I born in 1989? No. I was though. Okay, there's some work to work on there. there. Okay. Guys, you can add more than one answers here. You can do a comma, and instead of maybe, you can say sure. Uh, and then, yes sir. Or, no sir. And friends, I'm gonna press enter here so I can add even more stuff. Sure, why not? I guess 
What else could this eight, magic eight ball say? Uh, I don't know. All right, those are going to be all my answers. So each time I click, it's going to pick a random answer from my list of answers. No, sir. No, sir again. Sure, why not? Oh, that would be fun. Maybe. Mm, will the world end tomorrow? I guess. Okay, well, this is the last video I'll ever do. Friends, I just want to clarify, this is not accurate. This is completely random. That's why we're using this random command here to pick a random item from the list of answers. But it mostly says yes. Uh, is my name Genghis? No. Oh, got that one wrong. Um, do I like coding? Sure. Got that right. All right, friends. So once you do this, you can change the name of your app. This right here. You can say Magic 8 Ball. And you can also click on this question mark right here to change the icon of the app. So I'm going to click on that question mark. And so question, let's put a magic eight ball. Nice. Or well, maybe I can, yeah, I'll just leave it there. And save this icon. Boom. All right, friends. And after this, if you want to share your link with others, you can click on the three dots with the two lines at the top and then click on get a link to this app. Yes. And you can send this link to anyone. You can copy it and paste it anywhere into chat or into emails and you can show your friends what you've created and it's going to look like this for them. I'm going to zoom zoom. So on the right hand side we have our JavaScript code and on the left hand side we have our magic 8 ball. Let me click on it. Yes. Mm. Are donuts delicious? Yes sir. Wow. Okay. Mm. Is cardboard delicious? Hey, got it right. Cool. Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. Be sure to check my code and compare it with yours if you have a bug. I'm sure you're going to have a bug. Um, and uh, if you want to share it, you can always share it with your friends by clicking on the three dots right here. All right. And test it out, friends. Does it actually tell the truth? You can really... Uh, what kind of questions would you ask it if you wanted to test it out? So you, want, you can think about that as well. All right, everyone. My name is Mr. Jengis, and I'm here with Codespeak Labs, everyone. Please like this video, if you like this video, and subscribe so that we can make more of these kinds of videos, yes. And uh, if you'd like to check out our website, you can check out our online classes, which we offer six days a week at codespeaklabs.com slash register. Okay, everyone. I, again, if you like this video, keep on liking it so that I can make more uh, Bitsbox videos like this one. I think Bitsbox is a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye.